going to show you how to make the Chaotic Topper from Creative Kiwi. And for that, I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, some variegated thread with matching bobbin, some masking tape, my squizzers, and I've got my fabric and batting cut to size. You're going to start off by hooping two layers of wash away stabiliser and pin around the top edge of your hoop. Take a pin, rest it on top of your hoop, push it through and bring it back round and through the stabiliser. And that's going to anchor your stabiliser in the hoop so that it can't pull down while stitching. You're going to load file A into your machine and file A hasn't got any satin stitching on the left and right edge or should I say top and bottom edge that goes into a triangle this way around in the hoop. Um, so make sure that you've got the right, the, the right file in. Now we're going to be stitching file A for the first hooping. Then we're going to use file B for the second, third, fourth and fifth and file C for the sixth one and that will join uh, both sides of the pieces that we're going to add to it and then we will be using the centre file. So once you've loaded file A into your machine you're then going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and you want your fabric the right side facing upwards and then you're going to tape it in place. Turn your hoop over and then you're going to place your batting over the outline and then your fabric, front fabric on top. Again, your fabric facing upwards and then you're going to tape it in place. You're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it all. You're now going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the outline for the areas that you're going to cut out. We're now going to cut all the excess fabric from both the front and back of the hoop. So turn your hoop over and I'm using a stitch unpicker here and in these areas here and around here we're going to remove the fabric but we're going to take great care not to cut the uh, stabiliser. So I'm just going to wiggle that under there, make a little slit just enough to get my scissors in and then I can trim away the fabric.
are going to trim away the batting as well as the fabric. Making sure that you've got a matching bobbin and thread in your machine, you're now going to stitch round number four and that's going to do the satin stitching all around the edge of the cuts. Now that that's all stitched, we're going to free this from the hoop. So turn your hoop over. We're now going to trim up these edges close to the stitch line because these are where we're going to add our joins in um, later on. And that's our first segment completed. As you did for the first segment, you're now going to hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. You're going to load file B into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one to give you your batting and fabric placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and your front fabric on top of that. And then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the areas that you're going to cut out. You're now going to trim out all the excess fabric and batting from both front and back of your hoop as before. So starting from the back, I've already put little slots in to, so that I can get my scissors in.
add our previous piece to this one along this edge here uh, make sure that you've got it up the right way because there is a very very slight difference between the back and the front stitching and then you're going to align it so that this stitch line here sits on top of this stitch line here and then pin it in place. Keep your pins out of the way of the stitch line here. I always find it um, better to put a little bit of tape just at the top and bottom again out of the way of the stitch line but it just holds those corners down. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to zigzag this join. Remove your hoop and check your join and if you're happy with it you're then going to stitch round number five and that's the satin stitching over all the raw edges. I've removed the tape and pin and we're now going to free this from the hoop. So turn your hoop over and I like to put my hand behind the previous segment that we've just joined. And once more we're going to trim up close to the edge of the stitch line here. And that's our second segment finished. We're going to stay with file B and we're going to do exactly the same with the third segment. Okay, so off we go again with file B and we're going to repeat exactly the same as the last segment. So hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round to number one for the placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and your front fabric on top of that and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the areas that you're going to cut out. You're now going to trim out all the excess fabric and batting from both front and back of your hoop as before. So starting from the back, I've already put little slots in to, so that I can get my scissors in.
now going to join our previous piece to this one and once again making sure that you get it up the right way. So place your the stitch line of this one on top of the stitch line of this one here and then pin it in place. And keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line there. You may need to pull on it a little bit to make it marry up and that's because once you release something from the hoop it relaxes so then you have to sort of just gently stretch it back into line with the, with the one that's still in the hoop. To add a little bit of tape just to hold this edge down and the same here. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to zigzag along this line and join the two pieces. Check your join and if you're happy with it you can stitch round number five. If you're not, run an unpicker down the zigzag uh, stitching then reposition it and stitch round number four again. I'm now going to stitch round number five. You're now going to remove this from the hoop so turn it over and taking care not to cut your um, previous segments trim it from the hoop and that's our third segment completed we're now going to do exactly the same for the fourth one Hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser as you did before. You're going to stay with file B and you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your batting and fabric placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and your front fabric on top of that and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the areas that you're going to cut out. You're now going to trim out all the excess fabric and batting from both front and back of your hoop as before. So starting from the back, I've already put little slots in to, so that I can get my scissors in.
We're now going to add our previous piece to this, again making sure that it's up the right way. Line this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here. Into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to zigzag down here and join the two pieces together. If you're happy with your join you can now stitch round number five which is the satin stitching. If not, unpick it and realign it and stitch round number four again. Now we're going to free this one from the hoop. Turn your hoop over and taking care not to cut your previous panel underneath, run your scissors around the edge. And that's your fourth panel completed. Okay, so off we go again with file B and we're going to repeat exactly the same as the last segment. So hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabilizer. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round to number one for the placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and your front fabric on top of that and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the areas that you're going to cut out. You're now going to trim out all the excess fabric and batting from both front and back of your hoop as before. So starting from the back, I've already put little slots in to, so that I can get my scissors in.
We're now going to join the previous segment to this one. So line them up, this stitch line on top of this stitch line. Keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line, of course. And you're going to pop this into your machine and stitch round number four. If you're happy with your join, you can now stitch round number five. I'm just going to remove the sellotape that was holding that down. I'm now going to remove this from the hoop. So turn your hoop over. And that's our fifth segment completed. Load file C into your machine and then hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one for your placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and your front fabric on top of that and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to give you the areas that you're going to cut out. You're now going to trim out all the excess fabric and batting from both front and back of your hoop as before. So starting from the back, I've already put little slots in to, so that I can get my scissors in. We're now going to place our previous pieces 
and join them. Now it's going to start off with the top and then afterwards it will join the other side. So I'm just going to turn this around so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to pin it in place as before. And once more, this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here. In actual fact, I'm just going to trim it up first. I didn't do that a minute ago, did I? back into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to zigzag along this join here. If you're happy with your join you're now going to stitch round number five and that's going to run up here and then zigzag along here and stop uh, just before the join. Now going to stitch round number six and that's going to zigzag along this join here. If you're happy with your join you're now going to stitch round number seven and that's the satin stitching. that's our sixth segment finished. We're going to remove this from the hoop so turn your hoop over so that's the skirt part finished. Load your centre file into your machine and then hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. Then pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. Turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the front and then your front fabric on top of that and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure them. Stitch round number three, that's going to do the design in the middle now going to trim up the excess fabric and batting so turn your hoop over I'm going to need some pins now because we're going to place the skirt onto our centre and you need to eye it up and decide where you like it. 
to get it right. And as always, keep your pins out of the way of the stitch line, which is going to be around here. You might have to tweak it a little bit just to make sure that it's nice and centered as you want it. When you're happy with that, you're going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four, and that's going to secure the skirt to the hoop. If you're happy with your placement, you can now stitch round number five, and that's going to zigzag around the raw edge. If you're happy with your join, you're now going to stitch round number six and that's the satin stitching. We can now free this from the hoop, so turn your hoop over. All that remains for us to do now is to get rid of all the excess uh, stabiliser and we're going to do that with some warm water and a cotton bud. I'm going to start off with the back so I'm going to turn this over and then I'm going to go down all the um, seams If you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published do pop along to creative kiwis facebook group there's lots of ideas help and inspiration there for everybody and thank you very much for joining me please stay safe mm -hmm.